Hello everyone, um, this is Francisco again uh, on video number two for the correct way of building subforms in Zoho Creator. So today what we're going to do is make sure that um, all the items in an order are automatically uh, pre-populated with quantity price uh, based on a selection of products instead of having you typing manually all the information uh, on making the calculation. So first, uh, first of all, we need to have a products list and this is something that you probably already have in your database. Uh, I'm going to call it products. Uh, it's going to be a new, so I'm going to put it here under orders. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to have a product name. And I'm going to have a price for that particular product. Mm. You can add cost and, um, you know, different information about the product, uh, like a description so that we can possibly link it to the, to the item in the sub item description in the subform too. So let's have a description. Description, name, and price. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to add the lookup for the products in the items uh, form. So we're gonna do a new relationship, products, and then let's see. I'm going to add the name, not the ID, but the name, so that I get to see the name of the product. Even though we selected the name, the system underneath uses the ID to refer to this particular product. So, you know, this, we're going to be good with it. Okay, so now that this is set, we go back to the orders, and then we select the subform. And then we're going to configure, let's see if the field that we just added appears here. Here it is. Yeah. So we now have this option here. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a few products very quickly just so that we can test it. So let's see. We do product number, product A, description, blah, 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 price $125. Product B, let's see, product B, description, blah, 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 price, $2.99. Okay, so now we have two products in, in there. Now we can go back to the order form, and now we're going to link and pull the data based on our selection. So. First thing, go to the subform, configure the fields, and then you have multiple options. On add row, the first thing that we need to do is fetch the products. Well, actually, not on this step. Right now, um, there's nothing to be done on this particular section. Further down the road, on video number three, I will explain uh, some of the things that can be added on add row like uh, specific calculations and so on. But for now, based on our product selection on user input, what we need to do is fetch the products. Let's call it product. And then we call the products and we're gonna map the ID of the product with, uh, let me see, input fields from the subform product. So this is going to give you the row dot product because you are inside the subform field. Uh, once you fetched that information, now well, let's see, let's save it. And okay, it's not here. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's the product fetched. Perfect. Second step is we're going to map the description, the price, and we're going to set a default quantity for the row that, that you are just uh, selecting, okay? 
So in this case, um, the first thing that we're going to do is we want to set the variable, let's say in this case, the item description, so row.description, to come from the collection of products and match the description, okay? Very simple, straightforward, row.description equals the fetched product a string dot description. So we keep doing the same for pricing. We set the price on the subform to match the pricing on the products. And then in the case of the quantity, since it's going to be at default, we'll, we can use a row quantity equals one for a default volume. Makes sense, let me see. Oh, okay, it's not gonna let me save it there. So we'll just do it the same way, row quantity equals one. When you're adding um, a long field number, um, it, it is not necessary to add the commas as you do with the string. So all you need is the number one in that case, and then save the script. Now, once you have the price and the quantity, we need to make sure that you have a condition just in case sometimes you may not have a price in your product's database. So you need to make sure with an if condition that the price, let's see, input fields, that the price is not null and that the quantity is not null either. If that condition is met, then you can calculate a subtotal. We can set a variable. In this case, it's going to be the subtotal that, in our case, will be price times quantity. Bingo. And then that's it. If we go to the form, Let's see, again, products, we have price, we have names. I'm gonna create an order, date, today, in progress. And then I can select from product A or product B. If I choose B, it's gonna pull the description, the quantity, the price, and give me a subtotal. If I choose product A, it's gonna do the same. You can still change the price here. But every time that you add it again to the database, it will bring you the price that you have stored in your pricing products um, database. Does this make sense? I hope it does. Let me know if you have any other questions. On video number three, we will continue to explain all the details re around the subforms in Zoho Creator. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I wish you luck with your database. And if you need extra pair of eyes looking into your process, do not hesitate to contact me. We can take care of your business application with care and fast development um, on, on the Luge scripting. So have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week. And we'll be in touch.